Okay, so we need to pull the step out of the way. Just that one little cotter pin right there, and those two bolts right there. Yeah, and I did something stupid. I've had a screwed up left knee for years. I was riding a dirt bike. Years ago, I had a KX250, and I was in a gravel pit riding wheelie, and I dumped it and tore a ligament or something in my knee. And ever since then, I've had to be careful about jumping off shit. And well, I had my head up my ass yesterday and jumped off that dozer off the track, and my knee popped. And so now I'm hobbling around. And I'm probably going to have to just go to the VA and get set up so I can get insurance. And that's probably what we're going to wind up doing. And I know somebody say, well, you talk about government. So, well, you know what? I earned. <laughs> I served my country, you son of a bitch. So I... God damn it, I grabbed the wrong size. step off of here this guy here I grew up with him and his brother him and his brother lived right over there down the other side of the valley there on the west side and I kind of lived over in that area over there we all grew up together. See how this thing is put together here. Hmm. It's interesting. Looks like it's all part of that. I don't know if taking that. I think it'll actually be an extension. His brother Jake's a wild man, always has been. <laughs> he used to, that mountain over there, that's Ball Mountain. You can't see it because of the smoke hardly. It's about like 88,000, 8,100 feet. And that was the place we always, that was our kind of our go-to place on motorcycles and four-wheelers. Back then, you could just ride wherever you wanted to. You had some freedom. You know, you could go up in the woods and you could ride around. Now you can't do anything like that anymore. And, uh, anyway... It was winter time and we all had four wheelers, you know, and Jake decided he was gonna ride up there on his motorcycle in the snow. <laughs> you know what? He made it. He crashed about a hundred times on the way up the hill. <laughs> Crazy son of a gun. <laughs> I'll never forget that. About every corner he'd get to, he'd dump it. Yeah, and then we gotta go here, and we gotta leave here, and we got a twin star rake that something it's not extending or something on it. Okay, so what kind of goofy deal that they got? I'm not really certain how this 
hooks to that. How does that hook to the pump there? That's the suction side coming out of that filter. Obviously, discharge. It's a little bit different than the last one I pulled off. For a guy. Trying to figure out how... Basically, this manifold's got to come off because you can't get to the bolt back here till you pull the suction manifold off the side of the pump. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. What size are the discharge lines? They look like about inch and a quarter. Yeah, we'll see if there's anything wrong with this pump. He's getting metal in the... It, the steering's getting tight on it. and he's Getting metal into the orbital motor on the steering motor. should pop off of there. very easily. Yeah, if I don't see anything wrong with it, then we'll probably have to take it to the shop, put it in the solvent tank, get it all cleaned up, put it back on, come back out here to put it back together. It should slide over the top of that. That housing should slide over the top of that. There you go. Let's see here. Yeah, it's a pretty good ridge right in here. And then you can see where it's getting into the wear plates. Let me get another shop towel here. This may not be 100% of his problem, but it ain't good. I wouldn't put it back in there. Yeah, there's silvery. There's silvery shit all over that. You can see where it's eating on the wear end of the where the bushings go down here where the gears getting into it and there's quite a step here with your finger you can feel a ridge where the gears have got into the housing it's time to change it there's no doubt about that oh yeah There's a ridge in there where those gears have got into that housing and chewed up on the inside of the housing. <sighs> yeah, he needs to get him another pump. And then they're eating, see where the see where they're eating into the end of the housing, the gears are eating into it down here too. I won't get them both pull that one as part of the shaft, but I can get this one here out. Yeah. This pump is garbage. I 
what happens these they get some play on the end of these bushings here where they go into the the shafts go into the end here and see that see that end play well side to side movement there that's all it takes on these and then that gear gets into that housing then it's done and these these aluminum housing pumps are pretty well shit that's what they are they're junk anytime i see an aluminum housing pump i know that i'm probably going to have problems with it <laughs> I'll probably just leave it in pieces here. I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll leave it in pieces where he can look at it when he gets it. But he'll probably watch the video on Josh. Well, I'm gonna go to the twin starter rig now. Put this up to call him. Time to get a pump coming. the hill in the sun bitch. Okay, I don't even know if this is the right tractor or not. working on the damn thing.
working is this one, which has got the wire coming in from here. And then they all, ah, I see. See, we got a wire off right here.
them is these tra little tractors don't have enough hydraulics to run these rakes because they're open center and they're kind of a piece of shit, I think. Okay, they're going up. Okay, they're raising lower. We just, you just gotta have the thing wound all the way up to get enough flow to get the rakes to raise up. So let's try all this again now that we know we have a flow problem. The angle in, angle out, it's not doing anything. Okay, the retract. Okay, so that this one and this one are not working. Alright, we got got three of them not working. Now that we know the up and down are working. Obviously there's no power there. No power there. No power there. No power there. So somewhere, let's look at this. Why am I seeing a broke wire right there? Am I seeing a broke wire right there? Okay. So the power comes in and it jumps across. It's kind of hard to make it out. There's so many wires everywhere. It jumps across. It should be jumping from this one to this one to this one. Okay, then it jumps to this one. We know that one's working. We know that this one is working. So this is going to be where our problem is. So it's jumping from this one to this one. So if we got power... No. We got power there, but we don't have anything there. So the problem is right in here, and there's our problem right there. The wire's broke. Okay, i just seen it. These are about the worst connectors you can ever put on anything are these piece of shit connectors right here. Get a pair of needle wire, pull that off. I'll show you what I do to these things. I got the 580 Super L backhoe transmission in this morning and finished it up. Wire broke at this one, them together like that. A little more wire stripped off of it. Then I tie them together and then I put one butt connector on it. And they just work so much better. I have nothing but problems with these goofy, what do they call these vice connector things, they're just fucking junk.
together. got now. working. Alright guys, I'm going to put this thing back together. I'm going to fix this one wire that they got all screwed here. 